Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Crown Point, Indiana. And I'm in front of the Crown Point Historic Courthouse. This is home to a local history museum. And of course, I've, I've traveled different local historical museums all over the country. And, and it turns out just about every one of them has something worth seeing. I don't know all that they have in here. I heard something about a giant pencil collection, which sounds really exciting. So we're gonna head in and, uh, and check it out. Follow me. Here's the little courthouse junior. Got our old corn grinders. An old buggy. And look at this gentleman right here. Here says, doing it the hard way? I'm a little confused. Here's a look inside the bank. It's kind of got a cluttered desk where the banker would be working. Oh, hello there, ma'am. There's the, the bank teller. My grandma worked in a bank. Here are some... Uh, Local weasels. Oh wow, a commercial sausage stuffer. That, look how big it is. You can imagine how much sausage you get out of that. I like sausage. It's apparently the top of the old flagpole. It's pretty, pretty big. It's a big flagpole topper. It's an old fun house mirror here. Let's see how fun it is. There we go. Uh, History of banking chronicled in a log. Um, they have like different events in, in the local banking history. And uh, they're corresponded to different rings on the tree, I think. Got a little piano. And check out this wedding picture. It's like framed with real flowers. A little dental area there. You can listen to the gramophone while the dentist does some work on you. Oh, look at all the weird teeth and stuff on that tray. <laughs> yeah, I love this old telegraph here because all it says is please come at once. I would be panicked and you know, how long does it take you to like, you know, you can't just dial them up. So you're like, oh man, come at once. I've got, this could be important. I better hop a train and take, you know, worry the entire week that it takes me to get wherever I'm going. Amongst all these old-timey photos, there's a random Ouija board that says it uh, answers questions by wireless. I don't even know. Thank you for your service. Yeah, there's a lot of random cool things. Like back here, there's just like a random deep sea diver outfit. One of my favorite things about these local museums is just the cool old mannequins that they have. Oh, hello there, children. And ma'am, yeah, this, this lady in the middle, I believe she's somehow related to a slender man. Peasant dolls. Oh, they won first place at the doll show. Look at that. It's this big doll house here with all the little miniatures. You can see up in the attic, they got a Christmas tree and they're carving a jack-o'-lantern. And there's another spirit board. Okay, so we're doing six instead of four, right? Not really sure why this doll is in an aquarium. And here it is, the crown jewel. Over 5,000 advertising pencils, no two alike. Yeah, there's an American flag made out of pencils. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these pencils. I guess these are technically pens. I remember my grandparents used to have pens like this in their, their pen drawer. This pen has kernels of corn <laughs> encased for, for some reason. Yeah, some of these are, are very creative. Like these are seed companies. And they have seeds in their pens. We have uh, these baseball bat pens. Those are pretty cool. 
don't know why these pens have big brooms on the end of them. These pens have little sodas on them. There's some more seed pens. I had no idea how popular seed pens were. I, I want my own seed pen all of a sudden. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a little, like, aquarium with Mr. Peanut in it for some reason. We got bowling pins and Uncle Sam. That pen has just a knife in it. Here's some of the old beauty shop torture implements. Got a collection of hats and heads up there. Every time I see stuff like this, I think it makes me think of uh, Return to Oz, the movie that came out in the 80s. That's a morning veil right there. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Sorry, ma'am. The flowers in this big box are made out of wax. That is just odd. This little kitchen here. Looks like Mama's got a... Possibly a ham in the oven? I don't know what type of meat that is, really. old statue of a, of a wrestling match. This guy's doing a German suplex. Oh, look at this lady right here. Check out this thing. Cool. These are the old jail cells. They've been converted into shops. So this used to be a jail cell. Now it's a toy store. And this jail cell is a candy shop. That's, that's quite a turnaround. What is this? It says, take a picture with me, your friendly neighborhood troll? I don't know, man. He kind of looks a little familiar. Man, I love trolls. Look at this old safe door right here. Now it leads into a shop. There's a lot of trolls here. On August 5th, 2003. Yeah, this is so cool. I've converted all these dungeon-like areas into little shops. A little bit of Barbie yoga going on. This is actually the jail that John Dillinger notoriously escaped from using a bar of soap. Sadly, it's not open. It's apparently open like three hours a week. And these aren't those three hours. Check out this sign. I'm really surprised that they can use that name. You know, the Super Bowl won't even let people say those words on television. This building's abandoned, but I love these old uh, signs right here. You can see this one, they actually provided clowns. You could rent clowns. You could, you could rent singing telegrams. Can you even get a singing telegram anymore? And they also do costume delivery. So I guess you could have someone, you know, dressed like a, like a, like a grizzly bear deliver a package. That'd be fun. So I'm gonna run here, down here real quick and check out the fairgrounds. There's some cool old buildings back here uh, that are no longer in use. So some of these buildings are no longer in use. These are the old uh, barns for the animals during the fair. The horses would be in this one. Here's where the hogs and sheep would have been kept. Here's the cattle barn right there. Here's the poultry building. Get this old pool right here. It's like a old swimming pool here behind the poultry barn, which I'm not sure about. And look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Let's, let's get a better look at him. Oh, he's so vicious. Little raccoon. I'd love to take you home, buddy. Check this out, we got a pretty little covered bridge. What's interesting is that there's not actually water underneath it because it was moved from a different location, which uh, posits the question, is a covered bridge with no water, is that just a barn? All right, I asked that gentleman right there if the raccoon belonged to anyone. He said it belonged to the conservation club, that they're going to be tearing down these buildings and remodeling, and someone must have left it outside. But I told him, it's sitting out there, there's hooligans around. You never know, you don't want that raccoon getting smashed. So he said he's going to check on it and make sure that it's safe later. 
Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like the other places I've been, please check the interactive map down in the description. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon a $3 or more donation. We'll get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.